Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are going to be finally taking care of Cousin Cletus. We've got our international truck with the crane and flatbed. And I am looking at the wrong menu. Um, yeah, there we go. Holy crap. Uh, anyways, so we are going to be going and collecting our oil barrels. Uh, there's one here, which is uh, just on the side of a cliff. Not too horrible. This one, though, is a little bit tougher to get. So we are going to... Well, we're going to try to get it. Obviously. Uh, I think the best route here is to come through here and then we'll pick up the trail there. And then we have to bring it all the way back over here. So really what we could do is probably I, I'd rather stick to the full. I don't really want to bring it all the way through here. I feel like turning around, coming back out and then coming this way around all the way. To, it's, it's a long track. So anyways, let's get started. We're going to end up having to, uh, probably refuel a couple times uh, we've got about 62 gallons so we'll see how far that gets us and I remember the last time I did this mission uh, which was probably over four years ago now right when this game just first came out Ooh. Uh, I had a trouble doing that second barrel, so I don't know if I was just inexperienced, but we will, uh, we'll find out what happened, so, uh, but yeah, if you guys can, uh, like and subscribe, too, might as well get this out of the way as we're, uh, setting up this mission for today, uh, but yeah, if you guys can do that, we're getting a couple more subscribers to the channel, so that's good. Uh, getting a lot of likes, uh, a couple comments. Not very many comments, but a couple, so I, I appreciate those. Uh, thank you if you did leave a comment to, to whomever <laughs> left them. Uh, I did, I try to reply to all of them, especially now at such a small amount of comments. Uh, but hey, you know what? I think the, uh, the two-way interaction there is, is really important, so. Alright, so we are coming up on, get close to the first one, about a tenth of a mile away. This one I remember is pretty easy, I don't think it's too bad. We may have to go down into the, the valley a little bit to be able to get it, but uh, it should be okay. It should be alright. If not, that makes for an entertaining episode, so... Um, yeah, and see, what I what I remember... Is I actually drove down there, which was a nightmare. But I was young, and I was dumb, and I was not experienced at all. Uh, so let's activate our anchor. Should help stabilize us. We'll go into crane mode. And this is what I didn't understand, is that we can literally attach the winch from that far away. And we don't have to worry about spilling, which is a good thing, because... Chances are, if I had to do this in, uh... Real life, this is not how I would be doing it. But it works pretty well for the game, so... We can get this up on the bed. I'm actually going to put this in the second slot. Or attempt to, anyways, I should say. Uh, let's lift up. There we go. Oh. Wrong button. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Good enough. Alright, let's restore a crane. Let's pack cargo. And take off the parking brake. We will continue down this road 
past all of our trailers. I may have to, uh, I may have to stack a couple of these trailers. Um, I do have some extra parts down here. I got some concrete slabs and some concrete blocks. Um, which I really call those concrete slabs there and those over there should be called concrete, uh, pavers because they're not blocks. Concrete blocks are, to me anyways, are, uh, cinder blocks. So, but hey, whatever. That's the way the game is. It's probably, it probably has something to do with the fact that I believe this is made, I don't know why, I want to say this is made in Germany. I could be wrong. I could be horribly, horribly wrong. Um, you know, that could be the farming simulator that I played. I know that was definitely Germany. Um, wasn't it? Oh no, I don't know. Now I'm second guessing myself, so. Uh, I believe this is our turn here. Yes. But anyways, I... I remember this one all too well. It's amazing how many of these missions I remember. <laughs> uh, especially when I go to do them again. But I remember this was a nightmare. I also want to say that I thought I needed a big crane for this. To be able to reach down to the bottom of the uh... where the uh... the crates of barrels barrels are. So, uh... you know, it's one of those things where it's definitely inexperienced when I was first playing this, but, uh, come on. Actually, throw the differential on, throw it in high. We'll just crawl right over all this stuff. Alright, so, I believe if we poke our head right over the edge of this wall, break. Yeah, I think if I want to plant myself right about here... Nope. Okay, we'll put the front wheel just... We probably... Right about there. Alright, let's activate the Anchors. Anchors uh, are kind of holding me off the ground. Um, let's not look too closely at the fact that my truck's completely floating in the air. We'll go into crane mode. Hopefully. Yeah, see, I... I'm ridiculous. I totally tried climbing down there. You can... You can kind of get down there through... That way and then across those rocks there. It was... It was a straight up nightmare. I don't know what I was thinking. Except for the fact I didn't... I assumed that I couldn't go... And... And then reach the, uh, the barrels with this crane <laughs> from way up here, so... We made this mission almost flawless. I probably shouldn't speak yet because we are still on the edge of a cliff. So let's get the let's get the barrels on. Oh look at that. That's flawless. Let's exit here. Let's Unpack pack. I want I don't want to uh, reset this crane before we're Back on the road and Still the truck is kind of floating in midair, so I'm gonna actually hold the reverse button down. Oh My god That's what I was afraid of all right, well the winch didn't want to attach to anything.
but luckily luckily we uh we didn't fall off the cliff oh that was sketchy actually go ahead and lock the differential. We're gonna see where about we can uh, turn this rig around. Looks like a good spot to do it. We're gonna keep her in four low. With the differential locked. We'll go into low plus actually. And we should just be able to drive right on out of here. I also believe once I snagged the second cargo, I rolled it somewhere. I think it was coming up that hill. Um, just didn't realize how much of a cant it was on and the thing toppled right on over. So I, uh, I was not having too much fun with this, uh, episode or this, uh, this mission. This episode's great. We're doing, we're doing amazing. There's no issues here whatsoever. Except for maybe almost falling off the cliff, but uh, yeah, I had it under control the whole time. I mean, the whole time. So we are here, we gotta come back this way. And... I suppose we'll go all the way here and then to there. So we got a we got a little bit of a hike to go. So I've been I've been thinking about this game a lot, and I I think I know where it's going. I guess in the next rendition, or at least where I would like to see it go. Uh, so obviously, Mud Runner, or I guess technically Spin Tires, was the first one, and then Mud Runner, which I had never played. I may actually check it out on Steam. Um, might even do a playthrough, who knows? Let me know if you guys want to see it. I'll do it. I haven't ever played that game before, but I'll do it. And, um... Yeah, and then we have this, SnowRunner. So, the only logical next step, uh, for this game is going to be... SandRunner? And I think... It's gonna be... it's gonna have to do with very... very sandy locations, so probably out in like Utah or California or Arizona. Somewhere out there in the deserts and then possibly maybe Dubai or somewhere in the Middle East. Uh, where you would have oil companies and, and trying to ship barrels of oil across, uh, across great sand-covered destinations and things like that nature so I just think that's the next logical explanation for um, at least the the next terrain major terrain that they'll they'll try to conquer um, let's go ahead and fill up anyways no, I don't. did I say repair whoops meant fill up all right so we had about just I think we were right at a half tank actually Alright, so I head through here, I go through this. This is pretty muddy here, but everything else should be smooth sailing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I just, I, I think that would be the next logical step. And i kind of looking forward to it, because sand, I don't know if you, if anyone's actually drove, driven on sand, or through sand, or done off-roading with sand. It is, uh, it's a whole nother beast to try to tame. Uh, you gotta, unlike mud, which I actually tell you the truth, 
I'm not even 100% sure. I'm assuming you do air down a little bit with mud. But nothing like you would with sand. Uh, but... Yeah, you, you definitely have to air down with sand and you, you want to spin your tires but not too much and you want to, you know, you're always going to be in four low high trying to get through you know, the, the loose sand that uh, you would you would come across and say like, you know, the desert <laughs> versus, you know, a wet sand like on a beach and that actually might even be kind of cool is that you, you deal with the different types of sand uh, so you have your dry sand of deserts and then Maybe they'll have like an Australian uh, beach kind of uh, situation where you're driving on wet sand and dry sand and maybe along the edge of a, a coastline. So yeah, anyways, that's kind of where I think it should go. I don't know if it will be going. Oops. Probably shouldn't. I left it in high gear there. Too busy talking, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think that seems like the next logical, uh, step, so. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Let's actually pop her out of the diff. Mm. Looks like we're gonna need the differential again. Ooh, that was an ugly jolt. I'm surprised that didn't hurt more. It caused any damage. All right, so we're uh, less than uh, 20th of a mile away. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it would be a 20th mile. Uh, we're really, really close. That's what that's what I mean to say. And with that, this mission is... As we stall, because we have to downshift, is done. All right, drop those two guys off. 2100 bucks, not great. Uh, it is what it is, you know. Uh, at this point, I think we are running out of... Yeah, we just have to go... Explore here, which, believe it or not, I was... Let's go ahead and shut off the engine. I was correct in leaving this guy over here. Uh, although... It would be nice if I was facing the right direction, so... Uh, I think we're just going to... We're just gonna kind of back up. And turn around. There we go. That was nice and easy. Man, it's, it's, it's nice when I... I knew there was a mission over here. I knew there was going to be a mission. I think in the back of my mind I probably have already done this mission as well. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I believe this is the last mission on Drummond Island, so... Um, short of, of course, of doing the... Ooh. Actually throw the diff on. Let's just crawl right through this mud. Short of doing the uh, main missions, I think all the tasks are complete after this one. There may be... actually... No, I think that's a main mission where you have to come and get uh, these t cargo containers. Oh. There we go. It's starting to lose some daylight here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, well, that's fine. Um, yep, yeah, we're just gonna have to correct this. I love it when the uh, the winch accidentally snags. Hey, look at that! Eight hundred fifty bucks for doing that. Not bad. Didn't even really have to do anything. All right, so. Yeah, those are all the contest or all the uh, tasks done. The contracts, those are all still locked. These are statewide, I guess, is the best way to do it. 
Aid to the islands. This is all logging stuff, so... I think I'm gonna leave that, um... Towards the end. Um, yeah, I think we're... We're good to go to Lake Island, or Island Lakes. Um, now the question is, is what trucks do I want to bring there? Ooh, that's a good question. This uh, may come. I think, you know what, what I'm going to do for the rest of this episode, because we only got about 40 minutes or so left, we're 20 minutes in. Is I think we're going to have to maybe start taking some of these trailers back. This trailer is just not cooperating with me today, so we're just gonna ram it until it uh, decides to let me turn around. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm actually going to skip today, or to morning, I should say. And let's get this half fuel trailer. We're less than 100 gallons of gas now, so we can fill up a max of five more times. And this, this truck really needs to go back to a garage and get repaired because it's, its body work is just trashed. It's just trashed, and as I almost fall off a cliff. Let's go a little wide here. Oh, the trailer got stuck. Getting up, we're through there. I, uh... I think I need to figure out where... Is there a trailer store in this? Silent Observer. Is that a con- or a, um, contract? It's not. Maybe we might poke our heads over there. See what's all- what that's all about. Yeah, there's log stations, log, log deliveries, lost deliveries, those type of things. There isn't any more task. And there also isn't a trailer store, but I know where there is one. Not too far into Smithville Dam, so looks like we'll be taking everything there. Definitely faster to be in low gear. That's too low. And it's almost the same speed. Although I think low is a little bit faster, so... Man, this truck has just been beaten up. Destroyed it. Oh, so bad. So mean to it, like... I don't take care of it. I don't deserve it. It's too good for me. Anyways, as I'm slowly going crazy. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, I think we'll haul this back to Smithville Dam and maybe grab a couple other trailers just to get the majority of them down. And yeah, I'm going to let the sounds of the game take over and I'm going to shut up so I hope you guys enjoy the sounds of the game
All right, welcome back to Smithville Dam. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, sounds of the game, but that took a lot longer than I was expecting it to, so... I think that took almost 10 minutes to make it all the way back, so... Um, but boy, was that... It was pretty relaxing of a drive, so... You know, nothing too stressful, which is always a positive thing. Oh, wait. Sorry, for some reason I wanted to go to the warehouse. I gotta go to the trailer store, so... I'm going to leave the Chevy parked up here, just in case I find another Scout trailer, because I believe you can't return them unless they're attached to a Scout. So, we got our money back for that guy. Uh, let's go back to the global map, go back into... I guess Drummond Island is the, uh, the only one with the truck in it. No, there's two. Why is it saying... It's weird that it's only showing one truck. Anyways, we got the International Pay Star and the civilian there. Uh, so the MK-38. Uh, let's see, which truck is closer? I don't want to return the service trailer or the fuel tankers yet. Uh, I want to get these three for sure. I don't think... If we got to bring back slabs, then we have to bring back slabs. There is a service trailer, or a uh, scout trailer there. So that's not great. Uh, there is a fuel tanker here right next to the gas station. Why? Who knows? Uh, and then there's the sideboard trailer there so right now we have this truck i'm gonna drop off this flatbed oh whoops i'm gonna drop off the flatbed to the logging area just in case we need to have a trailer uh for the island lakes Is it islands, lakes, islands, islands? I don't know. I always forget. I think it's just island, lake. I always want to pluralize something, either the island or the uh, the lakes part, but I believe it's just island, lake. And if we come through here, I forgot we put the uh, big old flotation tires on this thing. But if we can cut through here, we'll actually be right at the saw. No, I don't want to call it a sawmill, it's a log. I forgot what they actually call it now. Shame on me. Log station. That's what they call it. Let's drop this trailer off here. Uh, so let's detach. Wherever that's button is and then we can discover this empty sideboard trailer which is more or less completely useless let's hook it up to the back of our truck and let's haul it over to uh is it the bridge I forgot. Uh, avoid. Is there a task there? We may have another task. Yes, I have not accept lost delivery yet. Sweet. All right, so. Um, let's actually start tracking that one. Three special cargo, see? Ah, see we need. We need the international for this. So we can continue what we're doing. Oh, no, we don't. We need the flatbed. That's a big cargo container. I believe these are two slot cargo containers. So we are going to need both of these trailer trucks. Unless I do all three with the international. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, where is the drop off point? Oh, back here at the log station. 
That one's pretty simple. That one's not so simple. And I'm guessing there's probably one even farther away. That's not too bad. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do all those with the International, I think. But for now... Let's try to take as many trailers as we can to the trailer store. Oh, 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 just missed that. Just missed that stump. Yeah, how easy this thing goes through mud. Chevy was uh, bogging down pretty bad on some of these. But yeah, this thing just goes right through them. I suppose it helps that it has all-wheel drive and diff lock always locked. And this is the other nice thing. I like using different trucks just because you forget how good a truck is. And a lot of times you can you can actually forget while you're driving that truck how good it is. And then you switch to a different truck and then you find it's flaws that way. And that truck and then you come back to this one. And I'm... I'm kind of rambling at this point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you get what I mean. It's it, it's always nice to try different trucks. Like, maybe I'll just grab this. Like, there's so many trailers. Now, those are slabs, and I don't... Oh, I don't want to take ones with slabs because I, th I think they're going to be usable for something. But was it me who put this here? I don't recall. So sad. I don't recall. Alright, well, we'll leave that one. And we will... We will grab this, uh, scout one. I'll just winch that thing along, because I don't even- I don't even think we'll notice it. We won't even notice it being gone. Or being behind us, so... There are beams on it, though. I suppose... Um... I had no clue that my suspension was low. <laughs> I forgot this truck did- does that. But anyways, let's attach that to there, and I don't even think we're going to notice. Except for the fact that the truck doesn't want to turn. We, if we lose that um, cargo, then we lose that cargo. It's, it's not the end of the world. Because I probably will just delete it. I don't... I, I really don't think we need it for anything. If we do... Then I'll just... I'll go back and get it. This is... this is the reason why I didn't, uh... Recover the Chevy yet. Whoa. That's really bogging this thing down. Uh, I think we go straight. Ah, uh, nope, nope. Almost screwed up. We go right. I guess that is straight, right? Ah, uh, whatever. We'll go this way. This is the way we're going.
Just back and forth. Back and forth with the steering wheel. Easing our way through the mud. That trailer. That trailer is actually weighing us down quite a bit. Kind of wish I had a, tr uh, a, a crane. I could have picked it up and thrown it in the back of the trailer. Fortunately, you can't um, strap it down. I wish straps and, and winch cables were separated. Um, where, like, I could just throw straps over anything I put in my trailer. It doesn't matter if it's a vehicle or if it's a uh, another trailer. Uh, let's go ahead and refuel. Why not? No, not recover. Boom. Alright. And then now's a good time to check. Yes, we do go left. So let's swing to the left. Let's take out a pine tree. Just smack it head on. We're actually right next to one of the cargo areas that we have to pick up. And I, I want to say you can do this with the regular crane. I don't believe you need... ...the big crane for those. It would, it would be nice if there was more... ...missions or tasks that had to do with using the larger crane. That may be in the future. Um, right now I'm completely on the vanilla game. Uh, I actually don't... That was a bad turn. Uh, I actually don't plan on upgrading it until, fingers crossed, it goes on sale. Uh, I think it's about $60 for year one, two, and three. I haven't heard great things about year three. A lot of people are complaining that the developers have gotten lazy. Uh, which may be the case, or the way I think of it is that the developers are hopefully working on Sandrunner. The sequel to this game. Um, so hopefully the next game's in the pipeline. Uh, if it is... I will definitely be getting it, because I've enjoyed this game and this series uh, quite a bit, so... And I think it will actually help the channel, too, to, to start playing a game that uh, isn't... What is this, already four years old? You know, it's uh, every, every YouTuber out there that's wanted to cover this game has already covered it, so... Um, unless there's a new new channel like me where I'm just playing random games and seeing what happens so all right so we can actually release release the winch we will go to the trailer store we will sell this for a whopping 3400 bucks it's more money than we got in our last mission last two missions actually um, so let's switch trucks. Oops. And we will hook up to the scout trailer. And we will get rid of that, which I believe is also somewhere around $3,400. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. And that is why I didn't... Yep, $3,400 exactly. So not bad. 64 no, $6,800, sorry. Uh, we... Well, we didn't. T uh, did we make it? I think the one trailer we didn't buy. So we at least made some of the money, and the other money we just got back, so... Uh, let's change the truck. And you know what? We're... About at the 45 minute mark, so... I think we're going to head back into Drummond Island. 
and then we're gonna call it an episode uh, just because we I'm actually I'm uh, what I'm gonna do sorry for just kind of changing my mind to mid thought which you guys should know is something I do all the time uh, I'm gonna return some of these trailers I'm gonna get them out of the way off camera um, I don't think it's a very great episode if I'm just driving around picking up trailers so I'll do it off camera but uh, please please protest uh, pick it outside uh, Saber Interactive if you want me to film that I will I just I don't think it's very interesting um, but yeah what I'm going to do I might take this fuel tanker back we have this fuel tanker here. Um, I do want to check to see how much... Oh, I did lose the metal beams. Haha. <laughs> That's hilarious. Can I delete them from here? I do have a task there. I'm going to figure out what these tasks are too. Uh, maybe I'll visit them. Oh, it's actually not telling me. Oh, okay, fun. Uh, but I'm... Probably we'll get rid of the one fuel tanker, not this one, just because it's in the middle of the map. It's nicely located, but these guys here, these are all going to go bye-bye. Um, and I think that might be it for now. I know I got these two trailers here. We'll leave those for now. We'll definitely leave that for now because I'll probably need that in the near future. I mean, even this one could, could go. There's so many trailers. Yeah, there's concrete slabs all over the place in here, so... Um, but yeah, we're gonna call it an episode there. And... We're gonna pick this up where I left off. I may... I may be doing the other mission. I may be doing whatever the sight, uh, silent observer is. I think that's a scout mission. Um, I think. I think that's what that flag means. We'll find out in the next episode. Um, or do you guys want to find out right now? You know what? I'm right there. It's right there. Let's find out now. Let's let's detach this. We got pl let's refuel. I'm sure I have plenty of gas to do this. Let's actually go figure out what these are right now. Um, I could have completely overlooked these in the first two. In Smithville Dam and, and Black River. There's a good chance I did. Uh, but I think what they are are scouting missions. So I think what they are, kind of like the, the flag one in uh, Smithville Dam. Where you just drive to the certain locations. As you can see, it's pretty soupy down here. This truck really has no issues doing this. Um, somewhere in here. Where am I supposed to get across? Oh, never mind. I thought we had to cross the river to get to that area. Never mind. We'll just go through this uh, sloppy mess of a road. Got boulders everywhere. You got mud puddles everywhere. Everything's everything's trying to work against us, but this truck just shovels it out of the way. All right, we're almost there. I can't believe we've actually kept the uh, the Chevy as a scout vehicle. Uh, you're probably tired of hearing how bad the weather's been, blah 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 blah. Uh, yes, observation points. Can you check it out and see if it's okay? 650 bucks. Where is it? It's right where I thought it was. Oh. We just had the Chevy right there. It would have taken five minutes. 
Uh, I feel silly. That's okay. We will not, we'll repair the Chevy. We won't recover it yet. And we will drive that next, next episode. So, uh, but I am going to call it a episode there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. All that fun YouTube uh, stuff. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.